Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up at the tabletop is Cards vs. Gravity by Big Potato Games. This is a two or more player party game that takes, well, almost 10-15 uh, minutes, I suppose. It really just depends on how good you are at balancing. Uh, you're going to be taking a deck of cards, you're going to be placing them on um, this little bottle that is kind of attached to this magnetic, like, circular disc, and you're trying to balance them with the rules attached to the game. When cards fall, you'll drink. Multiple cards fall, you'll drink multiple times, and if the whole thing falls, you're gonna drink your drink. This is a drinking game. It doesn't need to be necessarily. It can be just like Jenga. You can kind of mix and match the rules how you want. Regardless, though, this is a stacking-based balancing game, and uh, we'll talk about the setup, how to play, and then, of course, my review. Okay, so let's set up cards versus gravity. The first thing you need is a bottle. A regular bottle that you'll find pretty much anywhere will work, and you're going to need to take this stopper that comes inside the box. You'll place the stopper in the box by pushing it down just like this. The top portion has a magnetized top, and then this disc is metal, so it should attach right there, and which means that this disc is gonna stay on the bottle here. Then you're gonna take the deck of cards. You'll shuffle the deck of cards. There are four different color cards and a wild card. You have yellow, green, blue, and pink. Once the deck is shuffled, place it somewhere within reach of all players, and then everybody sits around a table and begins play. Now, to play the game, it's very simple as well. The first player to play the game is going to draw a card from the deck. That player will then take that card and place it down in the corresponding colored portion of the disc. If no cards drop, the next player will take the next card, draw it, and place it in the color. If you get a wild card, you can literally place it anywhere you want and you can even place it on another card. So if I wanted to, I could take this card and place it on another card, just like that, and it'll hopefully stay. There are a few rules. Rule number one, when you get a disc of a color, you have to place it in that colored area. If there's already cards there, you'll have to place it in one of the spaces of those cards. If any cards drop, you drink one drink. Uh, if more than one card drops, you'll drink more than one drink. And if all of them drop, you finish your drink. The game doesn't over end, however, if all the cards run out. What actually happens is, once the deck is empty, uh, and it's your turn, you'll have to take a card from anywhere and place it anywhere else. You no longer need to meet the color requirement rules, but when cards drink, drop, that's when you drink and reset the game. And yeah, that's the basic idea of the game Cards versus Gravity. You're gonna be drawing cards, you're gonna be placing cards, trying to make sure the thing doesn't fall. And if you're not careful, it will, and you're gonna have to drink. So Cards vs. Gravity is basically a Jenga-esque game. There are other games that I've played before as well, like Toppling Towers and that kind of thing, that play similar to this. Placing cards down in their appropriate slots, following the basic rules, making sure that a card or cards or the entire thing don't fall over, and drinking if necessary. You can drink or not drink in this game. Obviously, drinking is preferred. That's kind of how the game functions as kind of a penalty for losing. But you can still enjoy it just like Jenga without having to do so. This is a game where you definitely are going to want it I would say three, maybe even four players, um, and there's a good amount of cards. Now, if you can get through the whole thing, the fact that the game continues even after that is super cool, and I'll have to move these cards around. Now, I've never actually made it through because uh, maybe I'm just terrible at balancing things, but I have learned some skill in progressing the stacks and how you choose to place these cards, and always trying to make sure that you make sure that the balancing is just right, if you possibly can. Sometimes you'll get more than one of the same card in a row and you're gonna get in trouble and the whole stack is going to fall. But if you can kind of balance it equally, you can keep the game going and pushing the game to its limits. Uh, this has high quality cards. It is very colorful and vibrant. You can use pretty much any bottle with the stopper. The magnet's a little weaker than I would have liked it to be. And the inside box insert, I just basically threw that out and I'm just gonna put the cards back and the bottle stopper back. It's a lot easier. Sadly, I'm not gonna be able to fit a bottle with this game, but usually finding a bottle is not too difficult. I found one like five seconds. So especially at a party. It just kind of makes sense. Somebody finish their drink or their beer or whatever, then they can go and use this bottle and play the game. If you're looking for a game like Jenga, something a little different, something a little new, uh, you kind of already have this idea of what your play group enjoys, especially during parties, then this is gonna be an easy pickup. If you want a game that's involving balancing and hand-eye coordination, it's also a solid pickup as well. Fits in a small box and you can pretty much bring it and play it anywhere. Overall, Cards Against Gravity or Cards Versus Gravity is a ton of fun and it's something 
something I strongly recommend for you that, that enjoy party games, party goers, people who enjoy drinking, this is gonna be a hit for you. Uh, playing just a two player game at home, probably be fairly okay, but it's definitely going to shine in big groups of people and lots of music and lots of crazy stuff going on. It's a solid game for parties and groups. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Cards vs. Gravity. A nice, simple, you know, gravity-based dexterity game. If you're interested in taking a look, there's a link down below in the description. And if you're feeling generous, if you think we've earned it, you can hit that subscribe button and of course the bell notification button to see more of our videos. We do uh, Whatnot streams every other Wednesday where we sell games and show off games and talk about games. And then we do our live stream at 6.30 p.m. PST on Sunday on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube so you can see us play games just like this one. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Check out the Instagram and, of course, our website, unfilteredgamer.com, for blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And as always, I look forward to balancing my cards versus gravity with you next time.